What is the difference between the multiple ChatGPT models? You may have heard of ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT 4, 4.0, 4.0 Mini, and then the newest series 01 Preview and 01 Mini. What is the difference between all of those models and how do you know which one to use for each task? How different are things like pricing and speed or anything else that you need to know? First, let's talk about where to find these models. So first go to chatgpt.com. You'll open up this familiar interface. And here on the upper left, this is your model selector. So right now it's set to ChatGPT 4.0 and it has a nice little description here, which I find to be true, great for most tasks. Personally, ChatGPT 4.0 is my default model and I rarely change it from GPT 4.0. But if you want to see more models here, you have 4.0 mini as well as GPT 4, which is now considered the legacy model, which is so funny to me because I remember when GPT 4 just came out. So the most important thing to know is that each model is optimized for different tasks. So it is useful to know which one you should use to help you kind of get the most out of your interactions. So GPT-4, even though it's legacy model today, when it first came out, I found it substantially more capable than 3.5 for a wide variety of tasks, problem solving, creative writing, content creation, etc. However, it's heavier on computational resources, which makes it slower and a bit more expensive. And that's why it's now considered a legacy model. Earlier this year, OpenAI announced GPT-4.0, which is lighter than GPT-4. It's a more optimized version of GPT-4 that maintains really strong performance on most general tasks, but it does it faster and cheaper. So if you're doing everyday tasks like content creation, brainstorming, asking questions back and forth, GPT-4.0 is, in my opinion, the best default choice. And like I said at the beginning, it's my default choice in ChatGPT and I rarely change it. Now, GPT-4 Mini, you can think of as kind of budget-friendly alternative to GPT-4.0. So it's smaller, it's faster, and it's significantly cheaper while still being very good. It's really great for more straightforward tasks where you need efficiency. For example, if you are incorporating ChatGPT's API into your app and you need faster response times, that's a great use case for one of these mini models. Also, when you're prototyping something or just testing things out, I'll often start with the mini model to make sure like everything is working as expected and then go ahead and switch to ChatGPT 4.0 when things are ready to go. Just to recap, if you're looking for a more cost-effective option and or faster responses, then consider GPT 4.0 mini. And just last week, OpenAI announced the O1 series. That's O1 Preview over here and O1 Mini. And these models are designed to excel at complex reasoning tasks, especially science, technology, engineering, and math. These models are built to do step-by-step -step reasoning. However, they don't have access to some of the advanced tools that GPT-40 offers. For example, browsing the web or uploading files. You currently cannot do that in O1 Preview or O1 Mini. Unless you're doing coding or heavy mathematics, GPT-4.0 is going to be your best bet for probably like 99% of your tasks. And for those of you who might be wondering, how is the O1 model so much better at reasoning-based tasks compared to GPT-4.0? The difference is in how OpenAI trains the different models. So OpenAI today hasn't released all the details of how they train O1 Preview, but the best guess in the community, based on OpenAI's announcements and the research papers they cited, it's the difference between a teacher grading your homework based on getting the correct answer versus grading your homework and looking at your reasoning steps to arrive at the correct answer. Models before 01 were trained with human feedback that said, as long as the final answer is correct, we're gonna mark the solution as correct. Whereas 01 Preview and 01 Mini are trained with human feedback that looks at the reasoning steps as well. So the reasoning to arrive at the correct answer must also be correct in order for that solution to be marked as correct. And one of the really neat things about the 01 series is that you can see its thought process. And what's really cool about the one series is you can see its thought process. So here I just copied a hard SAT math question. You can actually expand this to see the thought process. It's revisiting temperature scales, revisiting options, evaluating temperature conversions, comparing temperature shifts, assessing the equivalence, um, and then it's going through each option because this is like which, which of these are true and it's going through each option to evaluate whether it's true. And the final answer is D, one and two only, which is correct. And what's really cool here is you can expand its thought process. 
So just to recap, which model should you use and for what purpose? For almost every daily task, like answering questions, writing essays or content, GPT-40 is often the best choice because it's an incredible balance of capabilities and it's also still very efficient. But if you need faster results, like you're integrating ChatGPT in a product and you need faster response times, or you need it significantly cheaper, then consider for mini because it's faster and more cost efficient. If you're doing complex reasoning tasks, such as math, coding, or engineering, that's when you would look at O1 Preview. And if you need a faster version of O1 Preview, that would be your O1 Mini. Similarly trained as O1 Preview, but faster at reasoning. Again, if you're integrating ChatGPT into an application, for example.